Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwame Yasser Allah, Koholoimla. Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai, Bahashim Rikha Hakodash, the honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say, Thawada to the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. This is Jah Hanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just wanted to just show, hey, Esau is falling out here, man, and it's <laughs> it's, it's it's embarrassing, man. You know, they 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 they're not gonna be able to take this L well, man. They're not gonna be able to take this L well. And you can clearly see, see, they 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 say that they're so-called white people, but you can clearly see all three of these people right there. They're they're red, pinkish to reddish in color. They're a little bit lighter. They they blend between the color of this lady's dress and the color of this man's um red tie right there. Look at them. None of them look like the color of them white shirts that they have on, right? But I wanted to play this video. This is a um, and they they sent the damn Jake too. It kind of seemed like Jake is kind of like you know sarcastically asking what he's asking, but he you know he's a you know he's a you know he's the guy on the story. So they sends him to this this Trump air diner or whatever. You know what I'm saying? To ask these people that sitting around in the diner, you don't see no damn Jake on thing, no other than this guy. But you're gonna see like how heartbroken or how downtrodden. You know that they've fallen because they've really fallen from grace, man. And it's no coming back. They really think that this guy's gonna save them. Donald Trump is gonna save them and um and bring America. They they really think he's gonna make America great again. And when they say make America great again, it was great for them. It wasn't great for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. See, there. There. Matter of fact, because you gained somewhat of some some power, so to speak. You know, though we're still in slavery, it's not to the extent of the old school shit that they was pulling. You know, now Jake, you know, a can really, you know, use self-defense, so to speak, if somebody's messing with him. You know, they can't just run up, grab you up, throw you into no tree without you. If you're doing anything, you know, their court system is, you know, will somewhat back you now. Not to say that this, you know, we're still under the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Don't get me wrong. It's not on our side like it's on their side. But there, you know, the Lord has he's he's kind of evening out the playing field just a little bit, if you you know, for lack of better terms. But I wanted to play this. Just check out how these people look and, and sound, man. Hey, Lawrence, I don't know how this is going to land the jury, much less the public. Yeah, Will, you, you make an interesting point because you talk about the case. And as you know, the former president continues to make this theme that. They're, they're after you, the American public. This is not about me. This is about targeting a political opponent. I was talking to this young lady right here. Or, hey, how you doing? Good morning. Um, we were talking about the former president being under prosecution. Raping her, her Trump flag, you know? She's about to be, she, she's boohooing and shit. And she's probably married, you know? Probably, you know, crying over some other guy <laughs> in front of her husband. Anyway right now what do you make of it do you think that is fair no i don't think it's fair it's ridiculous they're just trying to he, he keep him busy so he can't run you were telling me yesterday that as you thought about the case and you were watching about what was going on in new york that it, it brought you to tears why is that tears because we need trump back or else we're going to lose our country we're going to lose our country and it just and what's lose your country anyway because the lord is going to take it from you He's going to snatch it out of your hands. He's going to burn this place to a goddamn crisp. And see, they're putting their faith in this guy like he's God. They're not talking about, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we're praying to, you know, Jesus. They ain't even talking about praying to white Jesus about saving their country. You see? So they really think that, 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 that you know, this place is going to go on. Like he's the, he's the key to bringing everything back to... You know, and then let's just say, say for instance, it, this this place it carried on. How much longer do you think a motherfucker like Trump gonna live? That motherfucker old as hell, just like Joe Biden. You see, what the, what you what what you think he about to do in four years, even if he's there for those four years, which we praying that this place don't last another four years. You know, so uh, come on, this place is destroyed. It's being destroyed from your your elite so called white people. Which she obviously doesn't understand that, that that Trump is just a damn puppet to go along with Joe Biden is a damn puppet. They're not running nothing, man. Four years of, of of the trash that this place is going through, you can't clean nothing like this up in a in a hundred years. 
<laughs> anyway, let's play some more. Acting with these protesters is heartbreaking. It's history happening all over again, and they don't understand how bad it could get or will get if we don't get Trump back in. Thank you so much. Let's talk with some more folks here. Sir, how you doing? Good. I see you got your MAGA shirt on. I do. The president is, there's all these cases, but we're starting in New York. What do you feel about it? Do you think that is fair? Not at all. Uh, they're going after him just to keep him off the trail. And uh, if there's anybody else, they, it would, wouldn't even be a case. But just because he's the president, they're going after him. It's the only way they can win. So the question is, guys, can Donald Trump get a fair process in New York City? Sir, what do you think about that? You got Donald Trump. He's in Manhattan. You got a DA that made a campaign promise to go after him. The area that is seating the jury, only 80 percent of them are Democrats and only 20 percent of them voted for Donald Trump. Do you feel like they can be fair? Absolutely not. I, I think that uh, the the media as a whole has has made it their mission to try and and come together against Donald Trump. And that's all they're concerned about is beating him. Yeah. That seems to be a general theme, guys. And, and why this is important, because Michigan is a swing state. The big question that is on voters' mind as well as guys is why the timing? Why wait until the election to do this? You had like three and a half years to come up with some sort of case. It just seems mighty convenient that they're doing it during election season, guys. I'll send it back to you guys. It's just a coincidence, uh, Lawrence, please. You know, uh, just a coincidence. At Lawrence, yeah. yesterday we were interviewing Carrie Kupek Urban, and she was she made a good point. We mm -hmm. keep hearing these are the legal fees. They they marked them as legal fees when really it was hush money. She said, "What else are you supposed to call it? You're paying your attorney. That is called a legal fee." <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly right. And, and she also talked about that this can open Pandora's box because there's a lot of politicians and yes. elected officials and cabinet members right. that have paid a lot of people off and have a lot of non-disclosures. And if this was. Yeah. OK, well, anyway, hey, hey, this is how Esau get down on man. He's been getting down like that for a long time. Hell, even when Trump came in, shit, he was like, hey, I'm a smart guy because I don't pay all my I don't pay taxes like that. You know, when he was doing <laughs> when he was doing a debate. Like shit, that makes me I mean, come on, man, this man been paying lawyers all his life. All his life, he's been paying lawyers, you know what I'm saying, to, to keep him out of bullshit, you know what I'm saying, to to basically uh, uh, get over. He knows the system. He knows the loopholes. So he's been doing that for a long time, you know what I'm saying? And, and you got these regular uh, 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 uh Edomites that's running around out here, you know, like a place like this place that's in Michigan right there, man. I'm like, matter of fact, I'm at one of these types of places right now where, you know, the population is like 95, 97 or so percent of um, um, so-called white people. And they be driving down through here with these big ass Trump flags and, you know, and, and just all kinds of shit. Parade. Well, I've seen it's a guy that be riding around through here, man, with a big ass parade float on the back of his F-150 with all kinds of Trump shit on it. So they believe that this man. It's going to, you know, um, get them out of, uh, you know, the, the bullshit that they in. But they have no idea that it's only going to get worse for them. It's only going to get worse for them. But anyway, I <laughs> I just seen that and was, you know, just found it to be interesting. Found it to be interesting. And we're going to let's get some scripture. One of my favorites these days, baby. Cause we pray. I pray for this every day, man. I pray uh, 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 throughout the day, man. At least, I don't know, whenever it hits my mind. But, I, you know. Five, six, seven, eight, nine to ten times a day, you know, I'm praying for the downfall of Esau Edom's kingdom, man. And you should be too, because it's working. So Rock 25 and 7, there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. It makes me feel jolly inside to see that this lady is sitting there sniffling with her damn Trump flag. She draped in a Trump flag at a goddamn diner. The Nest Egg Cafe <laughs> in Allendale, Michigan. Like, come on, bro. That shit is beautiful, man. And you can clearly see, like I said again, none of them are, 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 are so. And see, it's crazy that they had this guy. He could be one of those those um Sambos or whatever, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that you know, voted for Trump and probably going to vote for Trump. Because I can't see them sending him otherwise unless they was, it was just a damn joke. Because he, I would not, I'd have been afraid to go there, to be honest. You know, not to say it like that, you know, not afraid in that 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 manner. But, 
You know, the scripture says to stay away from those that have the power to kill, man. Never trust thine enemy. <laughs> you ain't, you know, uh, why are you sending me? Shit, send one of your um 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 people to, to to go up in there and 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 do the interviews and all that shit like that, because deep down they really couldn't say what they was really going into was the separation of the country. And and when they went to when they talking about the people that's at the Trump, they really mean you niggas. They really mean you so called black people, because because who's the DA out there? Who's the one that's on his heels? Who's the one that's pretty much been on his heels, from your Fannie Mae's to you know what I'm saying? These have been um, um, so-called black women. So if you were to see these same people and they're sitting around their dinner table as opposed to that diner, you would know that they clearly don't like you Negroes, man. <laughs> but, but they sent him in there, man. But let me get this too, though. Matthew 12 and 25. Yeah, man, hey, it's, a cross, it's a crushing blow to these Edomites, man, to see how they're falling, man. It's crushing them. I see them. I'm telling you, man, I'm at the plantation right now. They are... Are, are, are through bunch of old ass Edomite men, man, just through. They had to come out of retirement because the economy done got so bad for them. Because you know what? See, Jake just in the hood, you know, just renting houses and you know, some Jake owns some properties and things of that nature. Don't get me wrong, you know. But see, when it comes to these people, all these people that I be coming across and I be kicking it with them, I kicks it with them. I act as if I like the shit out of them. They don't even know that I be. You know, I'm doing <laughs> lessons <laughs> talking about their downfall, man. But I kicks it with them. I was just out in a whole nother city with number Trump supporters and shit like that and was kicking it with this guy. And he's like, yeah, and I'm planting these trees. He's planting rows of trees and I like this type of tree and that type of tree that, because that's how big his property is. He's off the lake to go along with another um, Edomite that I'm here with. One of, um, one of the, um, you know, the partners that I, you know, be doing shit with here and shit. He. He, he's off the lake. His grass is so big. He's got one of, you know, like, you know, his 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 land is so big. He's got he doesn't have a regular lawnmower. You know, in my neighborhood, shit, I'm pushing my lawnmower for about 20 minutes. I'm done with my yard. This motherfucker is out here on the, with a trail uh, with a tractor um, 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 bush hog type of um, lawnmower, man, cutting their grass, man, taking them hours to get that shit done. Why? Because they have land. They living off the lake. They got multiple vehicles. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker, every, uh, every other day, he's pulling up in a different car. He's got different types of trucks. He's got, you know, just that, that you know, that, that, that farmland type of land is what they be into. And, and when they come to the job, you know, you, you all pretty much know where they live because they drive these big ass F-150s. You know what I'm saying? Or Denali's or, you know, these, these Chevy's, these big ass trucks you got to need a ladder to climb into. And they all got mud on them because they riding on those, those deep. Um, 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 dirt, mud roads still, man, because they still got all that land. And where you think they get that land from? Tribe of Gad, man. You know, the, the so-called Native American Indians, right? So it, it's a lot that they've done. They're just reaping what they've sown. That's all that it is. But, you know, again, this Matthew 12 and 25, it says, And Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city your house divided against itself shall not stand and if satan cast out satan he is divided against himself how shall then his kingdom stand see this place is all cut up especially between the democrats and the, and, and the republicans the left and the right you know these liberals your damn conservatives and you know your lgbtq and your 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 heterosexual straight people and it's just a whole bunch of division man and guess what you can have the best ideas in the world. They're still not going to come together. Why? Because they just have this, this, um, you know, this mark of I'm associated with this and I can't associate with you. Yeah, that's a great idea, but I can't run with you with it because you're you're called this and I'm called that and they just won't go together. They, they're not these people not. You, know, you don't see none of these people getting on TV talking about how, you know, we need to come together. Not even amongst these Edomites, because you think that that's what they would be doing. These Edomites, they they the ones that's dying off faster than they being born. Here you go, you got Ukrainian Edomites killing Russian Edomites, and Russian Edomites killing Ukrainian Edomites, you know. They should be together, along with the USA and all these NATO countries. They, these EU countries, these European countries, these so-called white people should be banding together and saying, hey, look. We have a common cause. We're running the earth. We need to continue 
to run the earth. And the only way that we can do that is that we have a common goal to run the earth. <laughs> to keep everybody else the fuck down, you know? So you got all these separations, and, and, and that's a lot of what's happening. But let me get this, since I mentioned it, um, that Galatians 6 and 7. They're just reaping what they've sown, that's all. Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived, yet how is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, you know, he became a nation. His name is Esau. They're the Edomites. The Edomites is the biblical name for the so-called white race. Esau had children, his children had children, so on and so forth, and they became a nation of people. And so that's going, you know, so as a nation of people, they sown wickedness in the earth, and now they're starting to get get that wickedness back on them. They're starting to, you know, hey, it's not looking good for them, man. But let me get this Job to prove that the Lord, he deals with nations as well. So like I want to get Job 34 and 29. It says, when he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him, whether it be done against a nation or against a man only? So the Lord, he deals with nations. I mean, it makes perfect sense that, he, you know, he deals with all the nations and he deals with all the individuals within those nations. The Lord is all powerful, man. And so the movie is playing out because let's go get this um, second address. Six. Let me start at verse seven. It says, then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of, of, of it that followeth? So the beginning, the end of the first is Esau, because this is his kingdom. He was given the fatness of the earth. You know, he was given the gift of the sword. That's why they able to just kick everybody ass, because no one can now you know, do them when it comes to them weapons. The motherfuckers, man, that, that guy, he's, he, he's definitely the sword of the Lord. According to um Psalm chapter, I think, what's that, 13 or maybe 17? He is the sword of the Lord, man. No one can out make a weapon. You can't ain't nobody out here fucking with Esau when it comes to them weapons, because he's he's a he's a he's he has the spirit of a killer. He's designed to kill. He was gifted with the sword, he was gifted with the fatness of the earth, man. So the end is coming for them, and then it's gonna go into Jacob. Which is you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans is going to be a, a role reversal. It's going to be a role reversal, man. Verse um, 8, let me get verse 7 again. It says, then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or well, when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau, but that's what this whole thing is about. Jacob and Esau, the twins, were born of him, Jacob's hand held first on the hill of Esau. So this is a spiritual battle, man, between these two sets of people are the main people in this movie. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the um, the children of Israel, and then you got the children of Esau. This is what this whole movie is about. And all the rest of these other nations, they're just, you know, um, you know, little little extras in the movie, so to speak. But, it, but this is the point, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So Esau's world right now is ending. And it's only a few more things that's really got to come into play for it to completely end. And, and that's the MOTB, that market of beauty and the beast. They want to start chipping people. That's coming soon. That's coming soon. This money, this dollar, all that shit is pretty much a wrap already. They're not putting up all these self-checkout stands and all these palm readers and shit like that into these stores and and, and 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 a lot of people don't even use cash like that anyway. A lot of banks don't even carry cash. You can go to the ATM and get some cash, but you walking inside a lot of these banks, they're not going to give you no cash because they ain't nothing in there. So they're making, you know, people are, you know, on, on the tip of, you know, they're basically pre-programming people to get used to a digital age. So this man, he's about to get down soon. So you got that one major prophecy left in World War III. The wars, rumors of wars are already popping out here. That World War III is pretty much on clack, man. <laughs> you know? They're they, they not just talking about wars and rumors of wars no more. They talk about wars and rumors of nuclear war now. That's all you hear now. Nuclear this, nuclear that, nuclear weapon this, nuclear weapon that. You didn't hear about nothing like that last year, two years. I mean, you know, or may, I, 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 for sure not five years ago. I know that for sure. Three, four years ago. This is a common topic now in the news, man. World War III, the third woe. That's all that's got to happen out here, man. So I just wanted to just touch on this real quick. I, I just found it interesting 
that she, you know this this damn Edomite sitting there boohooing, crying. Yeah, we're, we're gonna lose our country. No, you're gonna lose your country because the Lord snatching it out of your damn hands, man. Same way He allowed you to get it is the same way He's gonna take it from you. You had your go, you had your turn, and Trump is not gonna bring this shit back, man. Ain't gonna be the, and, and, and it's amazing that both of them got these slogans: "Make America Great Again." The, this other clown talking about some build back better. Build back what better? You know, this place is through, man. And they're gonna go out, you know, uh, uh, you know, like a little fucking bratty ass kid, man, that can't get his toy that he wants out of the store and shit, kicking and screaming and shit. That's how they gonna go out, man. So that's why we tell you, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you have to repent. To the father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai and get out of these people way. Let them do what they're going to do. Don't join this man's military. I say it all the time. Don't get into this man's military and don't be running around out here when shit hit the fans talking about uh, 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 I'm a Democrat. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. Let these so-called white people go and do what they're going to do to each other. You stay out of it because it's not your fight. You get caught up in that shit you want to, the Lord going to knock your ass off too. Y'all better pay attention, man. So I'm going to end out there. I pray that the lesson was edifying. Come on, y'all,